Hey Potter Puffs, so today it's my second vlog. I wasn't sure what to vlog about. I know a lot of you said to me, oh, I want to see a bit more of your daily life and what you do and things like that. And that's all well and good and I can't wait to do some more of those. But I thought it was important that I try and do uh, quite an easy vlog to start off with. So what better way to start off than to go to Primark and film the Harry Potter section. Now the Bristol Primark that I go to is the second biggest in the country. So it's got four floors and it's got Harry Potter on every single floor. So yesterday I went and I filmed as much as I can. I've done a voiceover for it because it's too loud and loud for me to be able to talk and show you things and people are pushing into you. And yeah, it's a bit crazy. Even as I'm just trying to film the shelves and things, people are just walking across you because they just want to buy the Harry Potter stuff too. They don't want to wait for somebody who's trying to film everything. Probably looked quite weird. But anyway, so so I've got some good footage for you. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think of my vlog or any improvements if you think it can be improved. So today I'm going to show you around and I've got a haul video coming up next week just to show you everything that I got. I hope you enjoy it guys. So Potter Puffs, we are at the train station. Journey is going to be delayed which is always fun when you get trains. So I'm very excited to just wait here for the next 20 minutes. Service to Bristol Temple Meads hmm. delayed by approximately 27 minutes. 27 minutes, I'm not shopping in Primark. So I'm a very impatient person, even though I'm meant to be a patient Hufflepuff. I'm pacing up and down, waiting for this train to arrive. Very, very excited, but I really hope all of the bargains won't be gone. I'm wearing my Deaf Eater t-shirt today. So we're on our way to Cabot Circus and then I will be making my way to Primark. This is the lovely Bristol, very very busy and I always get lost on the way to Cabot Circus even though I use a GPS app on my phone which is amazing. Not really much to look at at the moment, it's a very very grey day here. Here we are, it's quite a nice place when you get to this part but we are on a dedicated search for Harry Potter today so I'll try not to get too distracted. Whoa, look all around, there is loads here. Can you see it? It's right over there. Absolutely massive. Four floors. Okay, so we're in the store. This is just to give you a bit of a feel of what Primark's like. It's mental, there are people absolutely everywhere, but there's loads of cool stuff as well, so everyone's overexcited. Here is the Golden Snitch backpack and some lovely shoes. I was really tempted with the backpack, but the thing is, I've got two already and another possibly coming on the way, so I thought I'd better leave it. But if you don't have one, I would highly recommend it. So here is the t-shirt and jumper selection. I absolutely love the new design of the house jumpers. They're nice, subtle and wearable colours. And the Hufflepuff one, I love the emblem. Just look at it. And it's Quidditch, which is another one of my favourite things. We have some lovely Hogwarts Illumini gym wear. I don't go to the gym, but if I did, I would wear it. There's the Gryffindor jumper. Over here, we have got some lovely socks. I really like the ones with the G on. I don't have them just because I have so many, but it's definitely worth getting if you don't have many. Over here, we have Harry Potter t-shirt. I like the Slytherin trousers, although I couldn't pull them off. Um, and this Perfect Catch t-shirt, which has a very, very nice little golden snitch on it. I do really like that style of t-shirt, but I did find my Hufflepuff one kind of shrunk in the wash, which annoyed me a little bit. It's a bit hit and miss sometimes with Primark t-shirts, but for the money, you can't go too wrong. So I'm putting something in my basket. What am I putting in? The Hufflepuff cap. I have been desperate for that for ages. And the Hufflepuff jumper. I wasn't gonna leave that behind, was I, Potter Puffs? Socks! I absolutely love the selection. It's crazy and they're so cheap, hence why I have a few. It's just so cool. I got my mum some Dobby socks and I have the chocolate frog ones. Look how cute he looks. And these are like fluffy socks, which is really, really nice. There are lots I don't have now just because they bring them out so quickly. Those are definitely the best though. Just look how cute they are. And then obviously there's lots of non Harry Potter socks here, but right at the bottom I had to show you because there's a little Hedwig slipper socks. 
So these suitcases were selling out like hotcakes. There is only like two in the store when I go in. This backpack is the one I'm actually wearing today and it is amazing. I love the design of this one so much. It's my favorite. Here's a satchel. I love the little emblems on it. It looks really, really good. Hedwig purse, which is five pounds. And then we've got just the Slytherin makeup bags today. All the hats, all of them. Wow, I just love these. Slytherin one is very cool, Ravenclaw one. Of course, my Hufflepuff one. But other than my own, I really like the Gryffindor one actually. It looks really nice, the color is great. Loads more satchels, they have got so many of those in. Little Hogwarts, is that a clutch or a purse or a bag? I'm not sure. And a little card holder, which is very handy as well. Going down to the homeware section, the nerves get to you at this point because you never know what things are going to be in stock and when I was trying to collect more of the cushions that was crazy. I am holding this Blossom Powerpuff Girls pen, I didn't buy it in the end but I was tempted. They have all of the notebooks, only Gryffindor pencil cases, that's a bit disappointing I always think that they didn't make one for each house. Only about £3 for those notebooks, what a bargain. Wow, the duvets are so gorgeous. I love them both. If I was to choose one, it would be this one. I love the moons and stars on it. And the yellow really stands out. It looks like a Hufflepuff one for a second when you first glance at it. These signs are really nice, down to £3. Chalkboard, somebody's decided to draw on. And a nice little Quidditch sign as well, along with the Ministry of Magic sign that people put above their loos often. Look at the pin boards and the mugs and the posters. It's just so, so nice. I love the cauldron mug. I love the water bottle. I love everything. Somebody's just dumped their thong there. Why have they done that? There's a London to Hogwarts cushion. You can see I buy the water bottle though. And this is such a nice duvet cover. It's a Jersey one, so it's nice and soft. I have a Christmas one and it is so nice, so nice to go to bed in. It's hard to go back to a normal one after using one of those. Blankets, they have every single house blanket today. They have done very well. Every single blanket I can even think of. Hogwarts Crest, as I'm showing you now, six pounds. It's the best six pounds you could possibly spend. It's about the price of a coffee in the morning. There's a Quidditch one. I like that design, it's really nice. And then around here, we have all of the house blankets. So Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, all six pounds. I already have Hufflepuff and it's, yeah, it's so good. But I'd happily have them all if I had the money. Nice display, nice little display. Slytherin and more cushions over here. They spread things out quite a lot. Men's pyjamas right here. These are a really nice design and they are on the model, which I'm about to show you. Yeah, they look good. I'd have those as a woman's pair too and the slippers as well. Here just seems to be where they've dumped a lot of stuff. It looks quite messy a lot of the time, their displays. But here we have some new coasters. I believe they were just four pounds, so a pound a coaster. They're really unusual crest designs and a Quidditch mug. Anything Quidditch, I absolutely love it, but I resisted it. We've got the Slivering candle. These candles were very popular in January and also Ravenclaw. Just look at all of the nails. There's such a good selection. I absolutely love them all. I do normally cut them down because they're a bit too pointy for me bought a couple of the pound sets and I also bought a more premium pair which had 
don't know, was it glittery or shiny? It was one of the two. They've got pineapple nails. They need to bring out Harry Potter range. I would absolutely love that so, so much. Caviar. And the most expensive pair I think is about four pounds. So more purses and bags. I wish they did a Hufflepuff version of this. They don't, they only do Gryffindor and Slytherin. But if you are in those houses, those are amazing. Another makeup bag at the bottom or a wash bag. Very nice shiny gold on it. And that's eight pounds. Right at the top, some more makeup or pencil case. These are amazing. I did pick up one of each of the trio. Look how cute they are. I just love them so much. I was going to just buy Ron, but I thought, nope, need to keep the whole trio together. And Dumbledore over there. These really nice Hogwarts letter purses. I think those are eight pounds as well. The watch is nice, but I don't wear watches. And I like these, but I don't understand. So Slytherin's green, but then you look at the Gryffindor sign and it's also green. I don't like that. I don't know why they've done it. Golden Snitch keyring right at the top. Those are very gorgeous, but too nice to put on your keys. Hedwig bag and loads more satchels. They have got so many satchels in today. It's crazy. And more Golden Snitch bags. Jewelry, which is always incredibly popular. Only a Gryffindor and Slytherin set there. Lots and lots of pins, which I now notice they put in plastic, obviously because I noticed people were kind of taking them, which is a shame. And then we've got some more jewellery sets right at the bottom. Pajamas. Wow, there was a huge selection there today. But what really caught my eye was the night shirts. They had, I think, all of the houses. I really like the Ravenclaw colour. But I bought my Hufflepuff one and it is so comfy. I bought mine in a medium and it's very nice and roomy. I love the silk pyjamas they do as well, although I normally catch my nail in those. And they've got hoodies, every type. So these are sets of house pyjamas with the traits and they are t-shirt and legging style, which is my favourite to actually wear to bed. But I have had a few holy pairs of bottoms now after just one or two wears, so I'm not sure I was going to get Hufflepuff. But I decided against it just because I've had problems with those bottoms. I do love the design though. They are gorgeous. They are £10 I think. I didn't look at all the prices today but you'll be able to find it out. Now we've got a couple of kids wear. So this is just for a baby and look how cute the bottoms are and the top. I do really like the design and the frills right at the bottom. And some boys, like, I think they're t-shirts. They are cool. And I think you get two sets there. And some more socks. Lots more socks. And some printed face ones. I love the ones with the fat lady on. Haven't seen Hedwig ones before. They are very cute. Really good designs on them. So now we're in Hawkins Bazaar. They have a lovely selection of mugs. I love all the cups and mugs that they do. I have the cauldron one at home. We have my thermal mug over there, Hedwig cup, which is super cute. We have some Quidditch sets and jigsaws, lights. There is so much to choose from. And I bought one of these. I was so excited and I got Hagrid, which is exactly the one I wanted. They match the key rings I bought in Primark. Some bags, top trumps, slippers, chocolate frog. I love the gadget decals. And that really super nice journal. Now on to pops. Now the pops aren't a very competitive price in here but at least you get to see them all in the flesh and get a feel for what they all look like. They are so so cute. They have lots from different fandoms. Hagrid is massive. I need to buy this one sometime. Waterstones always has a really nice display of Harry Potter books as well, along with a few little toys and figures nowadays. Always like going in there to see what it looks like. 
So Primark was full of great things, as you could see. Give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favourite thing is or what you would buy if you went into that Primark store. And also give me a subscribe as well if you haven't already. I'm trying to make my way slowly up to 3,000 subscribers, which is amazing. If you've got any vlog ideas, also let me know what those are and I will see you next week. Bye!